Hey guys, it's Recovery 23 here, and today we are playing Minecraft once again, but this is a little different from what we usually do. Right now, we are playing on the Digimob for 11, no, 1.11.2. Big shout out to Cyan and Fuzzy for all their hard work on the mod and any other developers that actually work on this, but I've been playing a lot of Digimobs recently and got back into it. I grew up watching Digimon, of course. And I believe I've watched like every season right now. And I'm starting to rewatch it. So I want to bring that to here. To here. And you can see on the mini map behind me, there's like a little bit of building. I went ahead and built like a little base and something to help the series a little bit. Uh, that's all you guys if you want me to keep it. If not, then I will get rid of it. But I think so. This is our base. I'm going to be changing it up somehow in the future. I'm not sure yet. But right how right here we just had the house. It's like a little simple house, of course. Got like our furniture, got a little balcony. Uh that area. Let me go over here. Move here. You have like a little nursery area where I'm gonna be having the Digim Digimon stay when I uh, the keep get their days up. I'm most likely gonna be doing that off screen because it takes forever. And this is where it becomes a little weird. So the cell shop, I can sell circuit boards, uh, computer chips, gears, LCD screens, or cases for one iron coin. And for every 10 iron coins, I can get five golden coins. And when I come to the egg bank, I have a bunch of random eggs. I just went and creative and grabbed them, and I get them from 128 golden coins. So right now, that's the help out series a little bit, but I'm definitely going to be trying to tame Digimon through other methods. Because you can definitely tame them, I believe, from like getting the food that they like. But for right now, let's go and get our first Digimon. So I, I'm going to come right here. And what you want to do, when you get on this mod, you right-click this coin. It's going to teleport you to Digital World. I don't know where it's going to teleport me to. But what you want to try to do is find the training lands, what they call it. It's like a um, green forest. You'll see by the and here we go. We're first loading the digital world. Not have spawned yet, so that's actually pretty good. Now I'm gonna right-click the coin again. It's gonna say, "Welcome, mobs. Are you ready to be in your story, or do you need more?" I know the basic tech, kind of, so I'm just gonna be ready to go. And this is where it's gonna be different from mine and yours. It's gonna give me uh, these starters, and it's gonna give. This like gives you random starters all together. So right now I'm just gonna keep it simple, keep it classic. I'm gonna go with Cormon. And here we go, we have Cormon. He's level one, so I'm gonna give him the bites. I'll do that. Uh I'm not really gonna mess with the Digibank because I don't really know much about it yet. Uh we have some small meat, a red digital axe, a red pickaxe, and if you can right, you can click M. That's bind it for me to on a click to interact with him. So I can put him in the V pet, and I just right click it again to send him back out. So I'm gonna put him in the V pet for now to find out where I'm at. So if I were to come over here, uh, I am I'm a whole area I don't need to be. Oh. That's a little dangerous. And if you guys can hear it, something beyond my mic, it's raining outside, kind of. So, you might hear, like, thunder. Oh, they added vending machines back. That's cool. So, I can use, like, bits after fighting Digimon to get that uh, little cave. Okay, this is the biome that you really want, because you can get some red Digizoid here. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Man, these are like the kind of Digimon that you're gonna. Just, I'm gonna try to get in the future. Like we have Mirage Gogglemon. If I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. But eh, can't get them all right. So I don't know exactly where, um, like how in the world I'm supposed to be getting to the place. 
but I definitely know that if I were to, I think I come back over here, I gotta go with creative for it, I'm not sure, but where I spawned at, there should be a TV, there should be a TV there, gold Lumabon, that is a ugly little, ugh, but let's see, if I were to come back over here, uh, do I gotta go and create it for it? Please tell me I don't gotta go and create it for it. I think I'm gonna go and create it for it. Yeah, I gotta go and create it real quick. I apologize. Uh, this isn't really gonna be happening a lot. So if I go in here and get a TV, TV, no, wait, where is it? Is it called a portal? Yeah, it's a po digi portal. So I, I'm gonna put this down here. Game mode zero. I'm gonna right click it and it's gonna send me back to the human world. I'm not sure exactly. I think I'm gonna try to find the the um, training training area, like beginner area, off screen and set up a digi like digi fort there. I'm gonna call it digi fort and put a portal in there so I'm able to go back with the worlds because I can't tell the waypoints. I'm pretty sure. If not, I can go there easily. It's not problem well let's see if it's gonna load or it's gonna crash what's it gonna be? but if you guys are excited for this new series hit that like button subscribe if you're new and it teleporting right back to where I went in okay that's great so if I were to come okay lag all right so I, I got I kept the digital for a reason so I'm gonna come into the house Go upstairs and put it right here. I'm going to put it right there on that table. So I'm able to go in between the worlds. So let's just go over here and check out Coromon real quick. Of course, this is what this area is for. is to keep the Digimon safe in our world. Because they can be uh, transferred in between worlds. So I'm going to make him sit. Uh, command, sit. Look at that. That's adorable. But if I, I'm going to right click on Digivice to see what's going on. Uh, praise him. Get his happiness up. Uh, you can tame these with small meat. Those are his stats. So this is where you guys come in. Down below in the comments, put down which Digimon you would like to see me get in the series or Digimon you want to see Digivolve towards a certain line. Because right now, I can Digivolve this into Agumon or Black Agumon or Snow Agumon. I'm most likely going to be going Agumon, Agumon or Black Agumon. Uh, Snow Agumon, I'm not sure about because I don't really know much about that line. But let's see if we can, where we end up if I go back through this TV. Because I kind of want to see if it'll take me to a train. Land. If I were to right click that, please tell me it's going to teleport me somewhere else because those high areas aren't going to work out for me. Because let's say if my Digimon were to die, it doesn't die fully. It just be, it, I think it goes back to egg form. So I can pick it up and just rehatch it. That's not a big problem. Uh, where am I at? That's a good am I at? Okay, I know where I'm at, but what level is this area? Mm. I don't mind the stake. I just got that, so I don't want to make a farm right away. I'm definitely gonna be setting up a digi farm, a digital, digital Digimon farm, so I can um, grow their food. I'm in once again a high level area. Yeah, I'm in a high level area because I've seen the mega levels. But high, how high a level is it? Uh, let's see. So, what I'm going to try to do is go when I go off screen is to find that area. Uh, 85, that's still so high. I can't fight. But like I was saying, I'm going to go off screen, find it, put up uh, a portal there. And put a waypoint there so I'm able to teleport back wherever I am in the digital world. And that, that music's actually kind of loud. I apologize for that. 
Why is it it's still so loud, but it's still so loud, why? Alright, that's a little better. Uh so I'm looking for this kind of area, but not so close to the megas because um I'm looking for like in training levels. Actually I can think I can let Quarma follow me. Let me uh, right click you, do that, follow, get ready for on the attack screen. And Quarma should be following me if the, um, the world has to load in, so I apologize for the lag. I'll try to get that fixed for next time. So much to do off screen, so little time. Uh oh, are we good? Are we back? Okay, we're back. Uh, okay, so a little about the mod. It basically brings Digimon into Minecraft. There are a lot of Digimon. Like, right here, Metal Gurumon, and what is that? That's Metal Gurumon. Oh, what, what is this? I've never seen that. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I don't trust you out. You get back in there. Uh, we got Rosemon down there. So... The way that it is, that was a lower level, and this is level 88. Digimon is level 85. So the training area is somewhere that way. If I were to keep going that way, because the levels decrease, depending the closer you are to the spawn area of the digital world, compared to the, the further out you get. And I know a lot of people, like, um, fight the Digimon themselves to get them low level low health uh, yeah, I'm, yeah level 85 so if I were to keep going this way I would get to the training area of this world but for now I can't really do much with the digital world so I'm gonna end off this uh, pilot episode here I just took a screenshot by accident oops nope Oh my gosh. Okay, thank you. But thank you guys for watching this pilot episode of Digimobs. I hope you guys are ready to enjoy this series because this one can go on for a long time. Me and Coromon here are going to be taking on the digital world. Hope you guys are ready to see all the future partners and the way this series turns. Once again, this series can be turned around by your opinion and your, and your guys' opinion down in the comments below. I'll make sure to read them all. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.